Um, so for today's spiritual reading, I felt moved to offer a couple of poems, two poems. Um, as someone who has a long history of talking a lot or talking too much, sometimes trying to say it all, in, in more recent years, um, I've come to feel or realize that sometimes, and especially when what you have to express is beyond, is way more than what words can, can say, less really is more. And uh, poetry sometimes is really the best at doing that, I have found. So in the spirit today of, um, of the forest and the trees, of the big and the small, of the horrible and the hopeful, of both and, the sensibility of both and, not either or, and also in this particular week of both relief at the guilty verdict of, of Chauvin, at the Chauvin trial, just one tiny speck of accountability, and in the same week, the horror as new murders of black people by white police officers uh, continued unabated this week. So this is a poem. The first poem I'm going to read is one by one is one about one such human uh, being, Eric Garner, that was murdered by chokehold in 2014. And it's called um, A Small Needful Fact, uh, needful meaning you know, needful necessary by Ross Gay. A small needful fact is that Eric Garner worked for some time for the Parks and Rec Horticultural Department, which means perhaps that with his very large hands, perhaps in all likelihood, he put gently into the earth some plants, which most likely some of them in all likelihood continue to grow, continue to do what such plants do like house and feed small and necessary creatures, like being pleasant to touch and smell, like converting sunlight into food, like making it easier for us to breathe. The second poem I, I've brought forth to offer is by an Irish poet, uh, Pedrig Otuma, and it also, in a, in a different way, embraces the full spectrum of our human, you know, it, it expresses the, uh, embracing the full spectrum of our human experience and, and what we can do in the face of that, which in, in its last lines is definitely so aligned with the uh, sensibility and the spirit of our center. It's called The Facts of Life by Pedrig Otuma. The facts of life, that you were born and you will die, that you will sometimes love enough and sometimes not, that you will lie if only to yourself, that you will get tired, that you will learn most from the situations you did not choose, that there will be some things that move you more than you can say, that you will live that you must be loved, that you will avoid questions most urgently in need of your attention, that you began as the fusion of a sperm and an egg of two people who once were strangers and may well still be, that life isn't fair, that life is sometimes good and sometimes better than good, that life is sometimes not so good, that life is real, and if you can survive it well, survive it well with love and art and meaning given where meaning's scarce. That you will learn to live with regret, that you will learn to live with respect. That the structures that constrict you may not be permanently constraining. That you will probably be okay. That you must accept change before you die you will die anyway. So you might as well live and you might as well love. You might as well love. You might as well love. <laughs> 